The issue between NMPC and Dangote, including the federal government, the matter is getting so interesting. Anyway, let me explain. It's no longer a news that there's been so much drama between the NMPC, federal government, and Dangote. It has gone so far that even Dangote, NMPC, and the federal government, none of them are agreeing to be the responsible of fixing fuel price in Nigeria. That left Nigerians to think who is actually responsible of fixing fuel price. Anyway, that is not the issue. The current updates right now is that the NMPC is requesting to have office in Dangote refinery. They are requesting that Dangote give them an office space that will accommodate 6 to 10 people because since they are the ones supplying Dangote refinery crude oil and they're also buying from Dangote that they want to have office there so that they can monitor how their crude oil is being refined and how the business is being done to make sure that there's proper transparency in their business. Anyway, Dangote and NMPC have not come to agreement on that yet. Anyway, that's not all as more problem unfolds. The recent update is that the Nigerian oil marketers has reported Dangote to President Bola Hamed Tunumbu that Dangote is not agreeing to their terms of service. So oil marketers in Nigeria have started by cutting Dangote refinery and started importing fuel even though there is Dangote refinery in Nigeria and Dangote has also reduced its price that is selling to the marketers from 1,200 to 900 naira. Still, the oil marketers has refused to buy from Dangote refinery. And Dangote is also saying that they now struggle to sell up to 26 trucks a day when before now they sell up to 500 a day because Nigerian oil marketers has bycott Dangote refinery and started buying or started importing from overseas. I thought building a refinery like this is I mean, supposed to be a pride for everybody because we are not the only country. Angola, they've been trying for 20 years. They are still trying. Uganda, they've been trying for the last 15 years, none of them. There is no production capacity in Africa. Only two countries are not importing, which is, uh, you know, Algeria and Libya. Apart from this, everybody is an importer. We cannot continue to be slaves while we export, uh, you know, uh, raw material, then we import products. But you can see a regulator is giving an excuse to continue to issue license for bad products just because he said that no, they don't want to create a monopoly. So how can we create a monopoly? Anyway, that is not a problem for Dangote as Dangote have a lot of customers from overseas. So Dangote has also said that his 95% sales are now coming from overseas as he's now exporting his petrol, refined petrol overseas. Why Nigeria still have Q? Anyway. Let's continue. Dangote has also went further to say that his transaction with NMPC is not convenient for him because as he's buying the crude oil in Naira and also selling the refined fuel to NMPC in Naira, that is not convenient for him as the Naira keep disvaluing and he will keep losing. And he said that it's not done anywhere in the world that oil business is being transacted in dollar. So as he's dealing with NMPC in Naira, that is the one at loss, but he doesn't mind that it's a sacrifice he has to pay for his country. And some Nigerian oil marketers are also saying that somebody, some cabal, are trying to sabotage the business transaction between NMPC and Dangote Refinery. And that is one of the reasons that is making some oil marketers buy courts buying from Dangote because they are trying to frustrate Dangote out of market so that that refinery can crash or probably stop. And they're also saying that NMPC is not capable to manage a working functional refinery for a decade. And that is why Nigeria have a lot of abandoned refinery in nigeria and none of them are working don't also forget that there's still fuel queue in almost every fuel station in nigeria anyway dangote refinery has started producing and we still have fuel queue in nigeria now what is the solution what is the next step that is the question to ask or that is the question i'm asking anyway if you know the answer tell me in the comment section but before you do that please do not forget to enjoy your weekend thank you